All right, guys, I am in a fantastic mood. So what does that mean? We're gonna watch An Idiot Abroad. <laughs> Season one, episode four, Mexico. Let's do this. Mexico, for those that didn't understand me. <laughs> anyway, I just, I love this so much and I just wanted to jump right in. And like, I just, I get so excited for these and I just wait to be in like a proper mood and be able to enjoy them properly. You know, a lot of people just with anything, any story comes out, a video comes out, whether it's mine or anything or a press conference of something they like or whatever, there's always that, you know, group of people that are like, you know what, I'm gonna wait until I get home and I'm gonna grab a glass of wine or make some popcorn or just, you know, set the mood to be able to enjoy it, right? And th this is what happens with me with this. I have to be in the proper mood, I have to be, you know, asthma in check and everything, voice in check and all of it. And I have to be able to do this and sit here for 43 minutes and say, yes, I can actually enjoy the experience properly. So that is what's happening today. Yay, let's go. Yes, and um, excuse me, yada, yada, yada. I've seen this cheap. too many well, times. Be going, what's been going on? <laughs> I don't want to miss anything I haven't seen. I don't seen. know the correct term. Close your mouth. More, I think he is a round, empty-headed, chimp-like moron. And he's a friend. You're not meant to laugh. You're meant to go. Ooh. He's a typical little Englander, and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. <sighs> they show different clips, so. I just think it would be amazing <laughs> to send him around the world. My eyes have never been so busy. There's always something there going. Look at me. So you like that? So your neck. By the end of today, my neck will be well and truly worn out. What we'd like to see this guy is, is awesome. him experience other cultures and see if, in any way, we can change his outlook on the world. It's like something me, me Aunt Inora would have, sort of next to the telly. I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. I want him to hate every this, minute of it. The, that that scene, they used it every freaking time. I'm trying to make sure Nothing I got the right one. <laughs> than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the might of Sky behind me. Shit. Shit. This is one of the funniest, I most expensive today. practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Just let me go home. Oh. Jesus Christ. Poor kid. So ready Let's for this. Carl. Chichen Itza in Mexico. Never heard of it. No, I know you'll think it looks a little like a pyramid. Yeah. Not just about the, the building though, is it? Mexico, very different to Egypt. Completely different country. On a different continent. Thousands of miles away. <laughs> Used of course for human sacrifice back in the day. Yeah, the death thing's good. Right. So as opposed to Why? celebrating life and culture. You want to go around? Well, that's more relevant to me than this, isn't it? A pyramid well, isn't for me, is it? I'm not going to use a pyramid, but I am going to well, die. It's not about death. And the yes. great thing is, Carl, that in a lot of these countries, it's a very high murder rate. Yeah. So there's a strong chance oh, he didn't like that. the crew could get killed. Maybe if you've got a building for it, it's equivalent of like Death Hill, isn't it? <laughs> if you've got something called that in an area, it encourages it. Knock it down, say, don't do that anymore, it's bad. <laughs> I love this guy. I think it, a lot well, of there you go. Knock it down. What, well, really? anyway, you're going. Get your bags, your passport. We've got to get you to the airport. I can't... Packing again. <sighs> um... Hold on. <laughs> I, um, I don't know if anybody knows, but how long does he have to, like, rest between trip and trip? Because I've been asking how long the trips are, and people have been saying it's around seven to ten days, more or less, something like that. But I want to know, when he gets home from... What was the last one? Jordan and um, Israel and all that. Like, how long does he get to just chill with Suzanne <laughs> at home, <laughs> cleaning the dishes and looking out the window and stuff before they send him off to a new, you know, destination? That's what I kind of want to know. Because he looks so bothered, like he just got off the plane. <laughs> and now they're sending him somewhere else. That's like his attitude. But I don't think that's the case. This time for Mexico. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's the same clothes, really. It doesn't matter where I'm going. I've got the same pants, I've got the same T-shirts. Um, maybe a different flavor of crisps. <laughs> I love this guy. I just want to say, um, I spent one night in Mexico, saw nothing. We crossed the border from the States to Mexico at night, drove... I don't even know how long the drive was. I don't know if I fell asleep or... I was, I was 11 or 10, 11, 
so I don't remember much, but we drove to like a hotel and then from the hotel in the morning, we went straight to the airport to come here to Argentina. And we left from, I think it was Tijuana. And um, so I just saw like a very little bit of Mexico, not the good part or the pretty part or the beach part or anything, just right after the border up to wherever the hell we slept, whatever kind of, you know, motel or hotel or whatever it was. Um, and all I can say is the change from right after the border was like, whoa, dude. It changed so much. Like, it wasn't even gradual because it's kind of like sort of, you would think it's kind of the, sort of the middle of nowhere or whatever, like the, from the border until it starts, you know. Nope. It's just, bam, Mexico. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I, I'm just rambling. Well, well, sorry, wait, what? T shirts. Um, maybe a different flavour of crisps. What crisps do you got? Uh, Monster Munch pickled onion. Uh, it's good to have things like this. Um, pickled what do you onion. Like about Monster Munch? It's just a bit. There's something about them that cheers you up. Not only are they sort <laughs> of tasty, but just having a little monster to look at when you're fed up. He's he's. I, I love his innocence. It's brilliant. You have one new message. Hello, mate. It's Steve. I've never been to Mexico, but I've heard that it's a pretty lovely place, you know, it's pretty wild. But obviously you've arrived during Easter. Okay. It's been a very religious country, there's going to be a lot of celebrations going on. And um, we've arranged for you to, to get in the thick of it, and hopefully see uh, Jesus as well, which we did. So uh, track down a local taxi driver, you should be waiting for it, so it's called Edgar. Cheers, mate. Carlos Spooky Hey, Carl. <laughs> How are you doing? Carlos, how you doing, man? Right, that's yeah. funny. Yeah, Carlos, yeah. Yeah? Right. That's all right. Saying, you? Eh? This, all this. Yeah, all this? Crashed me, man. I'm crashed you. Yeah. Okay, is this man. yours? Eh? This dog? Yeah. That's yours? Yeah, this is Jack, isn't it? Normal. Oh, I wouldn't like that at all. Is this a little chihuahua? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm pausing so much, but uh, <laughs> I have things to say, people. This is like an outlet for me. This is therapy right here. Um, my neighbor, my downstairs neighbor, she's kind of sort of new in the building. She got a new dog and it started out as a puppy and it's kind of sort of growing now. And it looks like one of those puppies is going to be like a mid-sized dog, but he's still not there yet. He's getting there. And um, the other day, my boyfriend went down to get the delivery and the dog was, you know, in the hallway. And he came upstairs super mad. He's like, the dog peed on my sandals. <laughs> He was so mad about it and stuff. We had, we had to wash his sandals and stuff. And then yesterday or the day before, I can't even remember, I was, you know, doing something. I was walking through the hall, going out or whatever. And uh, the dog was there as well. And I asked her, you know, can I pet it? Because it looked like a dog that might be mean or whatever. I asked him, can I pet him? She said, sure, sure. She's, he's very friendly. And he peed on my feet too. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Just get, well, she didn't even, she didn't even say sorry. And she didn't say sorry to my boyfriend either. Just kind of laughed at it. She laughed at it and said, without saying sorry, I apologize for my dog. She uh, basically just said, um, oh yeah, he gets excited. <laughs> and that sucked. So I, I just, I related to Carl getting, you know, sneezed on. Yeah, that, yes. that was kind of the reaction. That's why. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'll watch, I'll watch. When you first get them, they're tiny, aren't they? Uh-huh. It's, a, it's still a, tiny. A friend of my mum had one, sat on a seafront, yeah. A seagull came down, took it away. Uh -huh. No seagull, bird. Yes. Came down, grabbed it, took it out to sea, never saw it again. No shit. I don't believe no that. Shit. I'm sorry. No shit. I don't believe that, dude. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> oh, no. Today is the day of the Jesus Christ die. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the celebration. This is a good celebration, man. We have a lot of romance, Mexican romance and. Well, quite funny, man. I've got a girlfriend. Nice butt. What? Nice butt. Smart. Nice butt. Nice body. Yeah. She used to have. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not, you know, I'm not having a go. I used to look better than this. Yeah. So I just think, you know, we're both, we've both sort of lost good, out a little bit. Good, they both went downhill. <laughs> yeah, they're fine. I mean, it's okay. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I've it's never. It's good to have a good, a good body, you know? Oh. Okay, Carlitos, you want to take this street, you know? 
Prolongation Juarez. This one here? Yeah, the big celebration of, is over there. See you later, okay? Ciao. The guy was nice enough, right? <laughs> Seems to be a big deal here, Easter, whereas at home it's just, you know, I said to him, I said, oh, do you have a chocolate egg? And he was like, what? He had no idea. You don't have chocolate eggs here. I mean, for me, that's what Easter is. Take the eggs away, it's, you know what I mean? It's Friday. <laughs> wait, Friday? Wait, 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 Isn't it Easter Sunday? And I also, you know, chocolate eggs are a big thing here, but they're so expensive, nobody can afford them. Okay. Okay. Did he fell over? I think it's, it's part of the story. Somebody helps him. I don't know. Do you know the Bible story? No, I don't know. But surely he wouldn't want someone helping him, would he? That's like saying, come on, I want to see you get crucified. You say, put it down, don't be helping me. It's the, it's the, it's the one time in your life where you don't want help. <laughs> I'm coming through again. He's got a rush on. I like that he interacts with the cameraman. Just what you want, isn't it? Imagine that. Being Jesus, being taken, you know, your life's gonna end, you've got someone with a recorder. <laughs> it's the worst sound going, isn't it? It's the worst <laughs> instrument that. I'd say do it here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It looked a little too real, I didn't it? it was a Before, when he was walking up and he fell over, <clears throat> I thought it was a proper trip, and it was. He's obviously hurt his leg look. But it does sort of ruin the whole sort of Jesus type image when, you know, someone from St. John's Ambulance is sticking a bit of Savalon on his knee. <laughs> Dude, he fell. That just ruined it. The guy, Not the guy. Because they were so... <laughs> Wait, what? The guy in blue that him. just saw a camera and said, I'm gonna stand here and smile at the camera. <laughs> this guy, I can't, can I? This guy. <laughs> like typical people that stand behind like the news reporters or whatever and start making silly faces and look at him. He's so happy to be on camera. That's just funny. I'm sorry. Not after, because they were so concerned about his neck <coughs> putting Savlon stuff on it. I don't think they'd do that and say, right, give us your hands. <laughs> It'd be a bit, uh, be a bit extreme. They used it? to do it until 1984. They used to do it with nails. Here? Yeah. Mm. Well, what sort of a nail do you use for that? I always struggle. <laughs> Doing DIY, you just never, you never get it right. I do not know what sort would go through. Oh. <laughs> His thought process is always something else. Okay. Oh, there's more than one. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> well, obviously, you know, all this means a lot to these people, doesn't it? Whereas I've, I've never seen anything like this at home. You know, at home, really. It's a sort of a... It's got religion linked to it, but really, it's just a time of the year for greedy people to feel like they're doing a bit of good. Oh, I love Jesus, me. Have you got any eggs? I mean, why is an egg even involved in it? I don't, I don't know the connection between Jesus and an egg. Because well, he can't be happy with that, can he? If he was on his cross on his last breath and someone said, we're going to remember you, Jesus. With chocolate and he was like, eggs. Great, what are you going to do? We're going to have egg. You are. <laughs> uh, do you know what I mean? You wouldn't be chuffed with that. Chuffed. I love that word. It's not I'm, like this at home, is it? I'm, I'm kind of curious why he's not mentioning rabbits you know easter rabbit or bunnies or whatever like chocolate bunnies bunnies are not in the equation in easter in in the uk because in the states bunnies are bigger than the eggs easter you know my easter weekend i'm normally sat watching james bond or you know just looking out to be in queue stuff like that but somehow i can't see that happening here. since i've been here you know I've sort of been thinking about things that I know about Mexico, which isn't that much, but then I just remember seeing a Mexican jumping bean on Sesame Street when I was a kid. Mexican jumping beans. What? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I told my mum about them and she was like, what are you on about? And she ended up buying me some marbles instead. <laughs> I've always wanted to see one in real life. I don't know Mexican what that is. Mexican jumping beans. Mexican jumping beans. <laughs> Have you heard of them? No. It's like a bean. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> jumps about. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know if you're meant to eat them. I don't know if you get them in a food shop or a pet shop. Like a little bean, pop it in your hand. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. Be like Heinz Neither beans. does anybody else. You can get them anywhere at home. No Heinz beans. You got no brakes. Here. How do you brake? Here. Brake. Here. How? <laughs> See. <laughs> With his feet. No brake. Here. You're mad, you Mexicans. You need brakes. It's not safe. <laughs> brake. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that guy didn't play off that he didn't understand one word very well. <laughs> Okay. Something. No, I didn't pack anything like that, no. That was a long shot, wasn't it? But listen. The wrestling right, thing, yes. I was for you to do a bit of wrestling. Yep. I saw that in the, in the thumbnails and the starting. Well, yeah. What's that got to do with the Seven Wonders? I'm here to see a wonder. Good question. But a wonder. Public, that would count as a wonder. It's an honour. It's huge in Mexico, Mexican wrestling. <laughs> Just go and enjoy it. It'd be funny for me to watch it. Just so you guys know, like most of the streets and the walls and stuff could be literally any, like that could be any corner in Argentina with those signs, sign after sign after sign after sign where you can't really understand any of them because they're not properly, they don't take the ones out and then they just, just go on top of each other. That could literally be any wall here, any of it. And there's a lot of scenery and stuff that looks quite similar. It'd be funny for me to watch it. I've had enough practice, haven't I? I mean, you know, you've, you've sort of had me in headlock, so... <laughs> you know, <yeah. laughs> and they probably won't be as heavy as me. No, uh, that's, that's a silly, that's a silly. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. It's right, I'll see you later. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> I like how he has a water bottle. Hello. First rule of Mexico is don't drink yeah. the water. <laughs> I'm not doing it in front of a crowd, am I? I'm just getting some training. Yeah, some yeah, training. Yeah. yeah. I'm not doing it in front of a crowd. I love this guy. It's good, isn't it? I'm just about to go and uh, wrestle with the shocker. I told Suzanne about it, right? I said, don't be hassling me. I'm about to go wrestling. She sent me a text, be careful. How do you use a DVD player? <laughs> that's, that's good, isn't it? She's not that worried. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm a shocker. I'm a shocker. Very pleased to meet you. Let me show you around. You are a lot bigger than I thought. I thought they were yeah, giving yeah, me a little fella huge. to sort of try out oh, with. Oh, yeah. you're a little fella. How big? This big? Smell. Oh, <laughs> well, come here, so oh Watch. <laughs> He didn't even touch him. And it's funny, you know, to him. But this is like how accidents happen, isn't it? It's like the start of casualty. You watch that programme, everyone's having fun. It's a party or something. People are going on holiday in a bus. He's and you got know a it's point. It's all going to go wrong. And that's how this feels. It feels like the start of casualty. That's just someone being chucked around. That's <laughs> going to be me out there. I mean, does he know the full story that I'm here to see the Seven Wonders? I haven't come here to be trained as a. No, he doesn't. No, well, it's... I should tell him, really. <laughs> what better on you? Wow. You look just like a wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> More like a right knobber. Oh, he has a cape and everything. <laughs> hey, come on. Squat <laughs> and then jump. Can you your legs. go like that? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that's all right. Whoa! Okay. Good job! Wasn't yeah, that right. bad? No, I almost got it. Okay, we're going to start with a basic training of wrestling. Is this cape covered no, in sequins? <laughs> You'll be okay in a couple of days. Come on. <laughs> you you got to follow the lead, okay? Come on. He's not very athletic, is he? There you go. See how easy that was? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, I like how he does it so carefully. Okay. Can I be you in that one? <laughs> <laughs> Shit house. Come on, Why is he? Wait. <laughs> I'm loving.
loving this. This is amazing. But um, why is he so much less dressed than the everybody has like a normal shirt on? <laughs> they got like the mask and the funky colors going, but they have normal shirt. Why is he in like <laughs> in the most embarrassing outfit? <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> He's so careful with it. Go! <laughs> Grab it up. He moves like a cartoon and this is amazing. Good job! Oh my god. This actually looks well, like I'm it's just... really fun. It oh, nobody shit. looks like they're actually getting hurt. Bueno. It's Let's like all so it's fake. Not throw up. It's just like a no, choreograph. Really kind of. <laughs> Do you give up? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, come on, Carl. I can't. So there's a little bit of one. You seem shaking. <laughs> His mask is just. <laughs> it hasn't done me confidence any good, really, because I thought it was fitter than that. Well, you think Suzanne said she saw you now? I'm not letting her watch this one. Whenever, whatever night this goes, I'm gonna take her out for something to eat. <laughs> I'm not staying. Watch, no, we're going out. <laughs> There's no line. <laughs> it's Easter Sunday today, isn't it? So um, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. Rick and Steve probably at home doing. Also, nothing. also, I'm home. sorry. A bajillion doors like that in Argentina. So many places have doors exactly like that with all the, the glass and the little. I don't know about other places, so I'm just I'm I'm just stating what is familiar to me from Argentina. So somebody's like, oh yeah, they have those doors everywhere. Maybe I don't know. I don't. I've never seen doors like that in the states. I've only seen them here. Rick and Steve probably at home doing nothing. <coughs> they haven't called up yet and given any instructions. So I'm just gonna have a wander about, see this what's looks going on. Just like Argentina. Oh look at yeah, look at the newspapers. Yep. Normally we've got Cheryl Cole on the front of our newspapers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here look, fella sort of done in. Done. Come out. Graphic. Ooh, very graphic. Holy crap. Okay. Well, they're not scared of death here in They Mexico, don't do that they? here. They're not worried about it. Cemetery, okay. I mean, our graveyards don't look like this, do they? This looks like a bit of a holiday camp in a way. Okay, well, okay. I'm sorry. I know I'm pausing so much, but I guess I never knew. I never knew Mexico was going to be so relatable to Argentina. <laughs> But um, graveyards, there are, um, there's one really, really, really famous one that looks, it's like this, instead of tombstones, every, every little tomb is like a little mausoleum thing, like a little building. This one is kind of painted in funky colors and kind of more, I don't know what the word is, keech or whatever, uh, but there's one here that's freaking gorgeous everything has like gothic structures and the gothic peaks and it's just so pretty but it's a lot more like refined there's sculptures of angels everywhere and it's really pretty and most of it is white gray and black so it's not like this colorful thing but it's really pretty and they're at most cemeteries have these kind of things colors and everything those sort of beach huts you get in kent oh this is the thing we're seeing isn't it the chichen chichen Itza. I mean, I've, I've heard about this um, Day of the Dead that they do. Yeah. Everyone basically has a party to celebrate the dead people. Because we don't do that. We find it all a bit morbid, don't we, death? We don't like to talk about it. Certainly don't have a day dedicated to it. But then we waste days, you know, dedicated to, like, Pancake Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ooh, exactly. Pancakes. All right, OK. Interesting. The sort of thing my dad would do that. He built a barbecue a bit like this. A little grill bit in there. That was a funnel. He's comparing a tomb to a barbecue. Gotta love this guy. All right, mate. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. How are you? It's all right, you know. I'm not having a bad time, eh? Good. Which is an odd thing to say, because we was wrestling yesterday. <laughs> How'd you get on? Um... It depends. I mean, if it's edited badly, I could come across like a, I'm, I'm weak. 
but uh, I think I got a few good moves in there. Okay. I didn't see one. Obviously, it's, uh, it's Easter Sunday. Okay, and Sunday. A very authentic Mexican Easter Sunday celebration is happening today. It's very traditional, but unfortunately, the government's still trying to ban it. What do you mean? Um, but there's a local fan that wants you to get involved. What do you mean? What, what, uh, what do you mean about the banning bit? Maybe there's something about the event itself that makes them worried. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've been here now I'm not a couple sure. of days and I've already seen that they're not really bothered about health and safety. So the fact that there's something that they are worried about the health and safety <laughs> of means that it must be pretty mental. That's for you to investigate. I'm just He's waiting here for the Carlos then, isn't it? Oh, oh. Chicken with a gun. Okay. Rampoyo. Oh, Carlos, how are you Hi. doing? You all right? I'm fine, mate. Otra vez que no se oyó. What are they doing? That's a... It's kind of a... A whistle. We always do. No, but I, I wasn't that shocked with the whistle. It was sort of the... Giant the 30 frog. foot frog. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's called the Judas. We use things we don't like and we burn them. They try to, to stop it because it's a bit dangerous. What sort of... Danger. Well, people uh, catch fire. Get a, a injury, but not <laughs> like death. But it's there's a lot of injuries. Burns. Look, here's a master craftsman. Yeah. He made fireworks. What? Just on the street like this? <laughs> yeah. Are these safe? <laughs> Look at him. Is it? Is <laughs> <he's not laughs> yeah. One of these fireworks. You know, they turn on and then go <laughs> like a rocket, and then hit you. And he got hit in the eye. Who's taking the security measures? I haven't seen well, anyone who great. looks official. I've seen a fellow with one eye who's in charge of making the, <laughs> yeah, the fireworks. We, we, the, He's not in charge. That's why the government tried to ban it. Just but but it would help the situation if they just got a fellow with two eyes. Do you know what I mean? Maybe <laughs> the government would say, well, at least they're trying to make it safer. But the I don't guy, I mean, the guy's respect the man for making a living out of it. <laughs> But I don't think he's the best man for the job. He's like, what, what, safety? What's that? <laughs> this, is a, this is a classical Torito. Yeah. This one is going to burn. Okay. It's fucking mental. It's not fucking mental. You'll see it. You'll, you'll, you'll enjoy it, mate. So all this is gunpowder, yeah? Yes. I'm not getting under that. No, you're not getting under that, mate. If you want to go up there to... Well, Jamie's is in charge of health and safety, and yet he's fucked off back, you see. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. I'm meant to be over there. Is that a safe place? Is that a safe place, mate? The so guy's, go. like, getting fed up with him, kind of. Oh, my God. Well, no wonder there's injuries and shit. <laughs> Why did they light it with so many people around? Oh, my God. I didn't know they did this in Mexico. <laughs> Why is there a guy holding on to that thing? Oh my god. What? I just got burned. He's like proud of it too. Run, follow, I like that the in. guy calls him mate. Where's Carlos gone? His little smile is amazing. Well, what's this got to do with Jesus? That's a good question. <laughs> I have it's no Easter idea. Sunday. Yeah. There's no yeah. hymns going on. There's no chocolate eggs. I mean, I haven't read the Bible, but I, I don't remember anyone mentioning setting fire to a cow with a load of fireworks on it. <laughs> the, the thing is, we burn things and we think that it's Judas Iscariot, you know? It's like in vengeance, you know? You betrayed Jesus Christ, so you're going to burn. Okay. I wasn't getting that from that. I just, <laughs> I just saw Me lunatics. <laughs> begin to imagine the field day that Ricky had when he saw all that footage, man. He must have been 
so freaking happy. <laughs> oh, man. Steve sent me a text, sort of saying, right, you know, stop all your messing about, which is a bit out of order. He's the one who sorted all this out. Yeah. But he said, you know, you're not there for messing <clears throat> about. You're meant to be seeing the, the wonder. So I'm going to uh, make the way over that way today. So you might as well stop off on the way, meet some charros. Didn't know what they were. He, he said they're uh, sort of Mexican cowboys. Okay. Ricky sort of said to Steve to tell me to try a sombrero on. That was the main thing he wanted. Not sort of broadening my mind or meeting local people, trying local food. He just wants me to wear a hat. Close your mouth. <laughs> God, Mexicans do such dangerous activities for fun. It's not my sort of thing, Holy really. Crap. You know, cowboys and that. I've never been into them as a kid or anything, but I'll have a look. Whoa. <laughs> Is he over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Okay, there we go. Oof, that was that was rough. I felt that for him. Oh, they're meant to be like not enjoying that. But then, you know, are they? If I went home and met up with the mates and said, "Oh, what are you doing these days?" and oh, I've got into horses, they'd go, "What's what's happened to you, you, you knob?" Do you know what I mean? It's not a very manly thing to do at home. Turn. Okay. Turn. 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 For some reason, when you think of cowboys, you do think manliness. Oh. 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 But I think maybe it's losing it a little bit now. Maybe cowboys aren't like that <coughs> since, you know, since Brokeback Mountain and the village people. There's been little things eating away at cowboys that are sort of ruining the reputation a little bit. John Wayne, you know, didn't he turn out to be gay? They will bring something to toughen you up a little bit and then you will ride the bull. I can't get on the bull. You shouldn't be getting on the bull. We've got loads of horses here. Why are we messing about on an animal that you don't shouldn't ride? They haven't got brains, have they? they, they, they they'll just run riot. I don't want to do it. <laughs> we'll have just a <clears throat> little drink of tequila to smoothen your muscles and give you a little bit of strength. She didn't want to be filmed for One things. kind of tequila. They put worms in it. And it's oh. a very nice thing to offer the warm to the guest. What is wrong with you people? Oh. May we split? Just piss what arsing about on bulls, drinking worms. I've been wrestling. I've only been here about three days. It's like everyone's daring each other to do something stupid. <laughs> get on a cow, get on a bull. Hey, let's have a wrestle. Eat a worm. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's never ending. It's just... Actually, for us, this is normal, man. I know, but that's yeah. what's frightening. <sighs> do you chew or do you just swallow? Of course you chew and you try to figure out the flavor and everything. Oh. Right, here we go. No. Yeah. Whoa. No. Oh. <laughs> swallow it. Swallow it. <laughs> no, oh my god. <laughs> No, I can't watch them puke. No, please. They're still in there. Oh, well, yeah. No, I, I can't watch them puke. No, thank you. Stop hitting yourself. Oh, God. Kill it, Ian. Oh, gosh. Fucking oh, hell, man. I, I don't bed over because I'm going to be sick. Okay, that's hilarious right. because the guy on the... The horse said, what'd you give him to the other guy? And the other guy's like, I just gave him the worm. <laughs> just like very casual about it. Wait, what'd you give him? <laughs> okay. Let's, that was funny. I, I didn't bend over because I'm going to be sick. Right, well, okay. Let's, let's jump inside. <clears throat> so I love how they were supposed to give him something to make him feel better and more relaxed for the bull. And they gave him that, which just made yes, him yes. feel yes. sick. Can I see him? Ah, <laughs> uh, I've caught you out, haven't I? Get him pissed up, stick him on a bull. If anything happens, you just... See, this isn't, this isn't helping, Eugene. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've got to suddenly jump out of the way. <laughs> Shit! Look, 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 look. Shit! Yeah. Hey, come on. I'm not coming out there. <laughs> no, seriously, Jamie, I, I can't. There's no way... Look. 
Fucking <laughs> This is not the game. Shot. <laughs> See. What's that he's got? It's for handling the... Right, right. exactly. Right. No, 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 no. No, no. Fucking hell, away. <laughs> hey! No, no, These guys no, are so no. mean, though. No, 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 no. Oh, God, just let me go home. No. Jesus They're torturing Christ. him. Fucking hell. Poor guy. <laughs> what was that? Stop <laughs> winding me up now. Seriously, right? Where's the ball, though? You know, no chance. Okay. Carl, Get it. come back, man. Carl, it's your turn. No, Carl, no, leave it. No, Seriously, leave I've, it. I've ridden a horse, I've had a drink, I've eaten a worm. Carl, come back. No. Just no. I'm with him on this one, oh, though. Oh, the bees are here. Oh. <laughs> He's anywhere safe. <laughs> Do you sell Mexican jumping beans? Oh, he's still on that. Mexican jumping beans? <clears throat> no. Do you know, um, uh, Mexican jumping beans? <laughs> no. I don't understand why you've never heard of them. <laughs> One of the best things to come out of Mexico. Little bean. <laughs> <laughs> You're all stood around here, nothing to do. You'd love these things. Just pop them on the floor, jump about. He's terrible at explaining. He's terrible at not it's getting enough. that these people are not understanding him. It? It's the thing, isn't it? It's the uh, Chichen Itza that we see. Oh. I mean, it's meant to be a place that, you know, they used to sacrifice people and all that, but they've stuck it on a number plate. You have one new message. Hello, mate. Steve here, with me. Steve, Now, listen, we've got some Steve, exciting news for you. Um, Chichen Itza was built by an ancient civilization called the Mayans. You're probably aware of that. Um, but anyway, you're going to be meeting some of the ancestors of the people who actually built it. This is going to go well. Okay, you'll get. Well, change of plan, isn't it? I thought I was going to be seeing the wonder today, but Ricky and Steve have called up, said, "Forget that. Um, you're going to be spending the afternoon in a little village with some Mayan people." So. Should be all right, shouldn't it? You know, after all that hassle on the, you know, the horses with the charros and that, it should be a nice little relaxing afternoon, really. I highly doubt it. First of all, not only do they plan these trips to make it complete hell for him, but second of all, they also just like change up his plans when he's there. Poor guy. That's just, it's funny, but it still sucks. And also, I was gonna say something I can't remember anymore because my memory is terrible. I'm sorry. Never mind. Please. Hola. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Fine, thanks. And you? I'm Carl. Nice to meet you, Carl. Good to see you. You're a big lad. Yeah. Who's this? He's my uncle, okay. Jose. Your uncle, Jose. Yeah. Jose. Jose. Nice yeah, to see Jose. you, Jose. The name of the small village is Yashuna. Yashuna has around 500 people. It's a quiet place. It's not like a big city. Because we don't have a lot of things to do here. No, there's nothing to do here, is no, there, really? No, nothing. It's just I remember. <laughs> I'm sorry. I remembered. Um, I, I also thought they were going to call him up to, like, kind of, you know, um, they were going to be upset that he didn't ride the bull, and they, I thought they were going to tell him off because of that. But apparently they took it pretty well, if they knew. Yeah. No, there's nothing to do here, is no, there? No, nothing. <laughs> it's just working in the, in the cornfield, and then you go back to your home. Buenas tardes. Viste una bel. Has he had a good day? Is he happy? Eh, que maca Uh-huh. Is he yes. happy? I love that. I say yes. When did he last have a bad day? Eh, uh, back in... Weird, weird question. Is it ten? Never. Never. He's happy every he day. He looks happy. He's got a happy face. Well, that's nice. Yeah, exactly, yeah. He's just smiling. smiling. Everyone just stood around. Look, there's a fellow there just playing with a bit of rubber. <laughs> what day it is. It can't be good for you, this, can it? That fellow who was smiling, yeah. has he ever seen <laughs> other life? Has he ever been to say? Well, no. Just here in this little town, living here in the little house. The music. Well, is he, he doesn't know what he's missing now, does he? Anyway, he said, uh, let's go and knock down a wasp nest. I said, do what? He said, yeah, we knock down the wasp nest and get all the, um, get the larva from it. What do you do with them? Uh, we go to eat it. Larva, wasp yeah. larva. Yes. You eat yeah. wasp larva. That is the wasp nest. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit himself. Can't be true. Yeah. I mean, they gotta shit. be yanking it. They're all coming shame. out. Fucking <laughs> hell. 
stupid. Seriously, how good can a lava egg taste? Is it worth it? I doubt good. I got one in Move your arm, move your I arm. very much like him, by the way. I, I, I fidget that the exact same way when insects are around. <laughs> okay, now it's on. It's very me. <laughs> there it is. Okay, now. Okay. That's so me, though. Over, okay, just look at it. One more thing. These little larvas, wasp larvas, are still in life, and you can eat it like this. Pero, uh, can I Went in the house, tiny place. No, thank you. Tiny. And a woman who was doing the cooking, she'd made some um, tortillas, and then they got the larva out of the wasp nest. They said, it's all right, we've, we've stuck them in some chilies and stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> you can You can hardly taste them, the chilies are more part. Well, don't put them in then. If it's the chilies, that's nice, and the sauce, don't bother with the grubs. Ah, oh, Jesus, that's really hot. Um, and then I thought I'd give them some, some, you know, new experience. The chips? <laughs> He's so cute. What's that? Bit of Monster ah. Munch. Monster Munch? How do you like that? It's good, <laughs> isn't it? Good. I mean, I think Louise has had stuff like that. You don't get that fat from wasp larvae. I mean, he had a belly on him. And he kept saying, oh, no, it's the wasp stuff. It makes you big and strong. <laughs> How many are you eating? Because they're only that big. And there's not much fat in them. <laughs> but the uncle, you could tell he, he was kind of like, oh, this is all right, this. I think he enjoyed it. So I'm happy about that. I gave him a new experience there, I think. And I just was hoping that they'd get a taste of something new. And think, do you know what? I might, I might leave this little village and go into town and get some crisps. <laughs> He's so kind-hearted. I like that about him. Anyway, I like how... I have to see the wonder that they built tomorrow. I want to say respectful, but he wasn't respectful to several things. <laughs> not today. <laughs> or not in Mexico, oh but God, usually. I am presuming you were super impressed by the Mayans, and so now is the time for you to finally see the wonder that they built all those years ago. Kitchen Itza. I just saw something. Get there before dawn. All right, mate, because you'll miss all the tourists then. And um, it'll be, you know, particularly spectacular because the sun will be coming up. Jealous of you. I'm very jealous of you, mate. Enjoy. I highly doubt that. What's that? <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, by the way. Is this one pumping a tyre up? <laughs> Every wonder that I've been to so far, I've been whinging a lot, haven't I? So I'm going to try and changed my attitude on this one, because that's what this trip's been about, really. I've been eating all sorts of stuff that I wouldn't normally eat. You know, I've been doing things that I wouldn't normally do, so I'm going to try and go there with the idea that I'm going to love it. Is this it? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm filming now. I'm at the, I'm at the actual wonder. But I told you what to do. You just get the... Suzanne. You get the scart lead. That's coming out the back of the DVD player. <laughs> it's been days. Just stick that in the back of the telly. There's like a... There's two holes. She was the first one. It's, it's been she days and she could not watch a DVD. Poor woman. Yeah, it looks all right. Yeah, it's just a big pyramid. Looks all right. <laughs> Right, well, all, all you've got to do is hit that AV button on the remote control and it'll come up. All right. Talk to you later. I love that they left that in. They could have edited that Hola. right out. Welcome to Chichen Itza. But they just let it right in there. Amazing and advanced cultures in history, the Mayas. I am Gabriela and I will be your host. Buenos dias, Gabriela. Yes, the Maya were amazing. Archaeologists have uncovered evidence that point to this site as once being covered in human skulls. I mean, we're only sort of just started listening. And straight away, it's like yeah. <laughs> violence. It's just what they used to do with all like these dead heads. Stick the skulls on, frighten people off. So it was it was sort of cladded in heads. If you lived around here, you'd constantly be hearing like screaming going on. And as nice as it is, it's lovely. Do you know what I mean? All these trees. Nice buildings and that. But that would make me go, I want to move, to be honest. <laughs> Having all that going on all the time. Someone's screaming the tripe out. Uh... <laughs> that was a this very good This would have been a good hiding place scream, when you think Carl. about it. If you're 
you're due to have your head cut off. Great place to sort of run around, isn't it? Got too many though, aren't we? <coughs> it's like an IKEA for like columns, isn't it? <laughs> which one? Which one do you want? Well, any. They're all the same. Just can't get shut of them. How many do you want? How many do you need? Standing at the Tampantli, you can still get that eerie feeling that the Spaniards felt when they first witnessed the human sacrifice conducted by the indigenous people throughout this region. <laughs> Jesus, that okay. is big, isn't it? It's coming this way. Oh, it's cute. Okay. <gasps> it's got little black leggies and everything. It looks like it's wearing socks. <gasps> is he gonna feed it? Oh. Can I love that? Want some more? What is he giving it? Oh, it's seen it. Yeah, I'll have a bit more of that. <laughs> it's weird how you can have something in common. <laughs> With something so different. That's like millions of years old, isn't it? But that it still likes particular one, I highly doubt it. In it's most so religions, cute. An afterlife is a realm of I'm peace. up to here with this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Carl. I'm gonna get copyrighted now. <laughs> Just can't give it enough. Just can't give it enough. <laughs> Moves so funny. It's funny, isn't it? Even though it's like a bad, vibey area with a better human league, it's happier, isn't it? <laughs> oh, why, yeah, of course it is. Depeche mode. If they would have like televised the sacrificing, Sky TV having this, just can't get enough. Got another one off. <laughs> I'm surprised at how cheery he is to be there after everything he just went through. Oh, here we go, look. Here we go. It's already starting. More tat. Oh, yeah. Got any um, jumping beans? Mexican jumping beans. Do you know anyone <laughs> who does that? Really? No one. No. Why not? I don't know if those are I balls you, or what, but they're pretty. Just get rid of half the plates. Have it's some pretty. jumping beans. Wow. It's getting busy now, isn't it? What's the clapping thing about? Is a child missing? Just... Ah, the echo. Oh, now I'm hearing it. It's like a boing, yeah. boing, the boing. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. <laughs> Is that me doing that? Just fluke, though, innit? That, that can't be... Whoever designed that didn't say to the builder, right? I just want to clarify something, because I said something, and it's not going to make sense to anyone, apparently. But when I said a missing child... <laughs> Which might have sound weird to a lot of you, but in Argentina when in a big place like this or anything in a park at the beach or wherever in a crowded place in a crowded area if a child goes missing um, The person that finds a child With without their parents that can't find their mom or whatever They usually grab it pick it up, you know if you can put it on the shoulders or whatever and start clapping and when somebody hears somebody clapping they all start clapping and they make like a huge radius of the clapping so everybody knows that there's a child missing and we're looking for the mom. So the mom hears the clapping, fo follows like the clapping and finds the, the kid. That's probably the only thing I can say about Argentina that's actually pretty cool. It's like a cool system and it's just like, it's known everywhere. No matter where you go, it's like the norm. It's, it happens, I've seen it happen several times and stuff. And it's a really good method because just like that, the, you know, the parents or whatever, the family member or whoever was taking care of the kid always finds them. So. Just, all right, everybody always asks, do you not, not like anything about Argentina? There you go, that's, I like that system. Listen, I need some sort of structure, <coughs> some sort of platform that we can cut heads off. We want the head to roll down, and then just at the bottom, something where I clap and it sort of bounces back. They wouldn't, that just wouldn't be on the to-do list. I don't get where the patu is bouncing off of. The thing, the pyramid? Is that, I mean, who, who, you know, is that what they really wanted this to be like? 
when they built it. Just people clapping. Just wonder, a wonder of the world. <laughs> Is she all right? Yeah, this woman's fainted. Oh no. Uh, you see though, look, everybody loves it. It gets a bigger crowd than the wonder now. Because people go, what's going on, Elsie? <laughs> No, 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 get the camera out. He's dying. A... He's such a oh, she's still alive. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, ambulance now. <coughs> I prefer to get out of here now. I feel like I've seen it. I've had a bit of a lesson with this. A bit. It's been all right. It's not been my favourite bit of Mexico, if I'm honest. What more was people flogging bit? shit. I'm half tempted just to sort of fall over like that woman and get a lift home. <laughs> Going home today. That is a plan. <laughs> it's all right, you know, I'm always sort of happy about going home. But um but I've enjoyed it here. I don't quite I'm, a lot. And this is ending. Am I blind? I don't <laughs> what did he enjoy? He didn't enjoy the fireworks thing, he didn't enjoy the wrestling thing, he didn't enjoy the bull thing. <laughs> Where was the enjoyment? Before the crowd, like the tourists started showing up, he was all right alone at, at the wonder or whatever. But when the as soon as the crowd started showing up and the people started rolling in, he was kind of like, his mood changed drastically. So I don't understand where his enjoyment was. I didn't see it. I don't know if they edited, fuck, I hate this word, edited it wrong or, you know, uh, just deceivingly. But I didn't, I didn't see it, Carl. I'd probably say it's my favorite place I've ever been to. She's a pretty, Big statement, isn't it? Weird. I mean, the wonder wasn't great. I wouldn't say come to Mexico to see the wonder. It's everything else. There doesn't seem to be any sort of rules. They just do what they want to do. And I felt like I've been able to do what I want to do whilst I've been here, really. That's something else as well. Women are quite, um, you know, they look quite big, big people, a lot of them. Do you like that? In a way, because they don't care. At home, women don't eat what they want to eat, do they? You go, what are you having? They'll go, you know, I'll say to Suzanne, oh, we have chippy. Yeah, all right, I'll just have, I'll just have haddock. And then I, I go, well, I'm having cod and chips. And then you get them. And she's like, can I have some chips? No, you can't. You have the <laughs> option to have chips. He said, you don't want to. Carl doesn't it's all share about food. Weight, whereas here, she's having <laughs> chips. She's having chips day in, day out. She's not bothered. And I quite like that. <laughs> it's, it's a sort of a, a free spirit they've got, isn't it? They live the life they want to live, which we don't really do at home. You know, I, I like it. I think I could live here for a bit. I didn't get that impression. The only thing that I'm a bit sort of gutted about is not seeing a Mexican jumping bean. Yeah. That's it, that's the end. <laughs> And he tried the whole trip to find the bean. That poor guy. I don't even know what that... Does anybody know what the hell he's talking about? I've never seen or heard of a Mexican jumping bean. And <laughs> neither has Mexico. I don't know where he got that from. And I just, I just hope at some point in his life he got to see one. <laughs> just because he wanted to so bad. Carl, please. Please, I hope. And if you haven't, I hope somebody sent him one or whatever, just just so he can, you know, check that off his bucket list or whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I get to watch these. These are so amazing. This is so much fun. Um, and Mexico. <laughs> just, I, I actually learned a lot about Mexico. I didn't know anything about the Easter stuff and that they didn't have chocolate eggs and apparently they don't have jumping bees. Like, I, I learned a lot. Um, so that was interesting. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just happy. It's just like, it just leaves me in a good mood. Just, it's like watching a movie that you've been waiting for forever and it turns out to just be perfect and it's just like, ah, awesome. They didn't ruin it. <laughs> this is fabulous. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. I'm just, I'm excited. I'm still excited. I get to watch so much more. It's so awesome. And, <clears throat> oh, sorry. Anyway, guys. I'm going to be off. I'm going to be off because this this <laughs> this took a while. So um, thank you so much. I hope I hope you guys just I just be happy. And just like the little guy in the village that he never had a bad day. That's what I wish for everyone and all of you. I just want people to be happy and, you know, enjoy life and live like the Mexicans with, you know, just free and not worrying about 
whatever, you know? If you want to eat, you eat. If you want to eat larva, you eat larva. <laughs> if you want to ride a bull, you just ride a bull. But just enjoy it, you know? Enjoy the ride. Anyway, thank you guys, all of you, for everything. And honestly, all the people that just recommended this, thank you, because I'm just, I'm loving it. I am, I'm definitely loving it. So I am going to leave because it's, it's hard for me to stop. I just, I can't can't stop talking. So we're just going to go. Thank you to everybody and thank you to my members. Bye.